Protesters wanting the government to take urgent action on climate change have descended on the capital. They have smashed windows at the Shell headquarters near Waterloo, painted their messages on the streets and blocked key roads. Armed with a combination of giant pot plants, polite banners and apologies to drivers for the disruption, tonight they've put up tents saying they'll stay as long as it takes for the government to listen. Martin Stew is live for us at one of five main protest sites, Marble Arch. Martin. Uh, well, yes, as you can see, the tents are up behind me. It's a bit of a festival atmosphere, actually. Uh, Organisers of Extinction Rebellion tell me there have been 5,000 protesters across the five sites, around 600 here at the moment. There have been, as you mentioned, three arrests, but in the most part, it has been peaceful so far, though that may be little consolation to those earlier today stuck in traffic. Hey! Waterloo Bridge, closed to cars but open to skateboards. One of five major sites shut down by climate change protesters. I've never broken the law before. Unfortunately, this is what we have to resort to. Piccadilly Circus was also blocked by the climate rebellion and similar scenes at Parliament Square and Oxford Circus as they were taken over by hundreds of activists. Everything as we know it is about to completely end. And if we don't do something, we'll go too. Yeah, we're facing like the next huge mass extinction like that we've had and we're next if we're not careful. Hundreds headed to Marble Arch too. Amongst them, Juliana, James and their two young daughters. We don't want to cause the reception. We're really apologetic for that, but we find that there's no other way to do it. Sorry for the disruption, but business as usual is killing us and politics is broken. James feels so strongly he's willing to be arrested. Uh, stepping into the road at that moment, breaking that particular law, obstructing a highway is, is not as important as the bigger picture which is uh, forcing action on climate change. We have a big sign! They travelled from Peckham. Others have come across the country to grind the capital to a halt. We know this is awful for people, sitting in traffic and, you know, in the fumes, as he's saying. But we've, you know, most of us are just, you know, peaceful people trying to get the government to live up to its commitments on climate change. No, I'm not angry at you guys. Like, I know what you're doing is important. Do you sympathise with them? At this precise moment, no. It's hell at the moment, it really is. Just... Sympathise with them? No, no, I don't really. I understand the reasons, but when this is being caused, they're affecting everyone's living as well. A few days of really bad traffic is nothing by comparison to the entirety of London being flooded. We are in serious danger right now, and if we don't do something now, it'll be too late. What do we want? Climate justice! When do we want it? No! At Shell's headquarters, windows were smashed and graffitied. Join the rebellion! Though the vast majority of the protests have been non-confrontational. If there's arrests, there'll be peaceful arrests. This is a non-violent, peaceful movement. And we're here to, um, to wake the country up. Protesters plan to stay until the government changes its policy. They say they're prepared to wait weeks. I think we've got some tea bags, milk, sugar. Um, so you remember the long haul? The plan is to try and stay for most of this week, as long as we can. What do you hope to achieve? Uh, I hope to achieve like a planet where there's like there's no fossil fuels, there's no cars, there's no like all of that kind of stuff, and where like everyone can live in peace. Martin, we've just had an update on those arrests you mentioned. Uh, the total now stands at five. Uh, five arrests for criminal damage. What can we expect tomorrow, do you think? Oh, well, very difficult to say for sure, Nina, because it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse from the police and protesters. Neither want to give away uh, their tactics. The uh, organisers say they are trying to keep this as a peaceful protest. One thing we can say for sure is the people bedding in behind us have no intention of going anywhere anytime soon. They've built port and they are bedding in, as I say, for potentially weeks with plenty of food stuff. Protesters also say that 2,000 of the protesters have signed a form saying they are willing to be arrested to fight for this cause. So we could be seeing a lot more of this protest over the next coming days. Martin, thank you very much.